everybody, Suzy Q here at Q Aquatics, and welcome to Tuesday's Tanks. Today, I'm gonna to be setting up a fish bowl. That's right, a fish bowl. Let's go check it out. So look what I got at an auction. I'm so stoked, I'm gonna set it up. Now, it's pretty small, it's less than 20 gallons, so I don't know what I'd put in it. Maybe my pea puffers. I did just get some poison dart frogs. Maybe I'll set it up as a terrarium. But either way, it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna set it up. Check it out. Oh, wow. Looks like it's run off a sponge filter. And it looks like it's gonna be its own light source. Yep. A little sponge filter I'll put in there. Oh, I got some fry. I've got some angel fry that might work in here. I got my viajes laid eggs if they survive. That would work in here. What? What is this? Oh, I'm excited to see what this looks like. Oh, the air pump and everything all plugs into the same electrical outlet. Let's see how this looks. Came with a whole lot of substrate. Looks like crushed coral or rock. It's like something how oh, how many times you click it. That was two. It's written on top of here. It's really hard to read. But if I click it three times, it's set for a five-hour day, and it's a timer. It automatically shut off. If I click it twice, it's for an eight-hour day, and the rest nighttime. It's got white and blue. Oh, this is going to be exciting. All right. Well, exciting in my world. I really like it. Now, what would you put in a tank this size? So this is a 16 gallon orb, a little smaller than a 20 gallon. So I got my pea puffers, but I like their setup, so I don't think I'll do that. I might set it up for the angel fry or for the viaje fry. If you have any ideas, I could make it into a terrarium. Let me get it set up and see what it looks like. Stay tuned. And if you have any ideas or comments on what you would put in this, um, what you would put in this 16-gallon orb, let me know. It's going to be run off a sponge filter, and it's going to have a timer for lights. I would love to hear your comments. Well, I think I'm going to like this very much. Not sure what I'm going to put into it yet. I'm going to get the cycle started. Definitely not big enough for a goldfish, but it's almost a 20-gallon. I've got lots of nano fish that I could put in here. I wonder how a schooling fish would do in a bowl. Would they school in a circle? <laughs> okay, so I'm filling up the tank now. I'm gonna have some time while it cycles. I mean, obviously I can add, you know, beneficial bacteria from any one of my tanks, but I just think because it's such an odd shape, conversation piece. We'll see how it evolves. I'm gonna add some plants. Although there's not a whole lot of, there's no dirt down there. It's just the, um, not even gravel. So I might do a lot more like Anubias, um, maybe some bobitis, things that are, uh, that I would tie to a rock or driftwood. You know, now that I'm thinking of it, since it's in the middle of my living room, I probably should have tested this first to see if it leaks. So here's the end product. I really like it. I think it's perfect timing, and just in time for Halloween. <laughs> if you're interested in these kind of videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for checking out the channel, guys. See you next time.